Hello, this is teacher Jacob. Today it's Thursday, May 28th, 2020. We are going to study two pages, okay? So we're going to have listening class and then we're going to have grammar class, okay? So I, I, I know you understand me and I know you you can uh, comprehend very quickly. I mean, you you understand me. So, it's mandatory in this term that you write, <clears throat> write on your, not, on your book, the date. For example, you write here, you write May, 28 2020 because as this is the evidence the date is mandatory date importante escribir la fecha 28 de mayo del 2020 okay it's very important keep in mind that it's very very important that okay 2020 so may 28 uh 2020 Today we have a listening class. This is listening class. Remember, listening class, it's excellent for you to understand. To understand first, uh, to understand the new language. Then you're going to uh, uh, learn how to speak. Third, you are going to... Uh, you're going to start learning the best way for a speaking skill. In other words, if you want to speak, you need to listen. So you, you listen, if you listen, you speak. If you don't listen, it's impossible. Nevertheless, today we're going to do a listening, listening comprehension. So go to the point Imagine, use your imagination. Today we are going to have a listening exam. So for listening exam, what we need to do is first to have an idea what is the listening talks about. So this listening, for example, so according to this, this listening so it's going to be about food. I mean, the main course, when you go to the restaurants, chicken mall, uh, succulent chicken and spicy, ch choco chocolate, chili sauce served with rice. So the listening is about food. So you have an idea that your exam is about listening. Of course, today, no exam. Today, no exam. It's an, it's an uh, example. It's an uh, imagination. So, we're going to do three exercises. Number one, you need to listen to the conversation and underline the type of restaurant the speakers are at. A, in India. B, in America. C, Italian. So according to the listening, you say A, B, or C. That is that. Another suggestion to, to be good in the exam is you first read. Read the whole test. Read the comprehension. So at one is listen and type of the restaurant speakers are. India, American, Italian. Two. Listen again and underline the correct options to complete the sentences. So Tom wants to eat because he's tired, he's hungry, he has a lot of money. B. The restaurant has hamburgers and salads, salads and pasta, pizza and hamburgers. Three. So you need to choose one option. One, two, or three. One option, okay? So... Three, mark the statements T for true or F for false. So you need to understand what are you really doing in this point, okay? So the reading is about food, so you understand what are you going to do. 
So you are going to listen and mark and choose the best option. Okay? So be careful. Listen and choose. Listen and car and 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 and, and select the best option for you, okay? Uh, this is called in English multiple choice. Multiple choice and you choose only one option. All right, let's go, let's go, man. Listen and pay attention. I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna be your uh, speaker. I'm gonna be the radio. So let's go, listen and do. Listening exercise. This is a conversation in the restaurant. This is this conversation is between Tom and Chris. Tom and Chris. One. So again, again, one more time. One more time. How can I say uh, this? Okay, uh, oh my god, but this how can I say? All right. Um I'm gonna say this is crazy or crazy 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 and this okay now crazy and this is gonna be tom tom crazy tom crazy tom not tom this is tom this is crazy tom come on crazy Let's eat. I'm hungry. Chris. Okay, let's go in here. It's a great place. They have a lot of different dishes. And it's cheap. Tom, do they have any soup? Chris, wait a minute. Mm, no, they have no soup, but they have some salads. One. Ah. The caprice salad is tasty. But I'm late for class. It has a lot of fresh tomatoes. Two. Tom. Good morning. How are you? That's okay. What about main courses? What about main courses? Are there any hamburgers? Okay, bye. Crazy. No, they aren't any hamburgers. It's not an American. It's not an American restaurant. There are some pasta dishes or there is a pizza. You can have a few French fries with that. Tom, that sounds good. And look at the desserts. They have ice cream and chocolate and chocolate cake and a lot of fruits. And the waiter, waiter, this is the person waiting. Hi, hi there. Uh, do you want to order now? Do you want to order now? The waiter, hi, do you want to order now? Crazy. Yes, uh, can, can I have a capri salad to start, please? The waiter. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the waiter. Uh, the wait. The waiter. The waiter. Say the waiter. Yes. Certainly. And for you, main course is for you. The main course is. And then ton. For me too. I want a cafe salad. Chris, the spaghetti bolognese, please. Tom, and I'll have cheese and ham pizza with some fries on the side. Waiter, okay. And what would you like?
for dessert. Chris, oh, chocolate cake with a little with a little ice cream, not too much. Tom, I want chocolate cake with a lot of ice cream. Chris, that's gross. All right. So I read to you. Remember, if you don't understand, you put pals. Okay. Right? Let me read very quickly for you. Perhaps you understand this. One, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna read and you're gonna listen and then you you, you can, uh, I hope so you can understand this, okay? So come on, Chris, let's eat. I'm hungry. Chris, okay, let's go here. It's a great place. They have a lot of different dishes and a sheep. Tom, do they have any soup? Chris, uh, wait a minute. Um, no, they have no soup, but they have some salads. The caprice salad is tasty, and it has a lot of fresh tomatoes. Tom, that's okay. And um, what about the main courses? Are there any hamburgers? Chris, uh, no, there aren't any hamburgers. It's not, it's not an American restaurant. There are some pasta dishes, or there is a pizza. You can have a few French fries with that. Tom, and that sounds good. And look at the desserts. They have an ice cream and chocolate, and chocolate cake, and a lot of fruit. Waiter, hi, hi there. Uh, do you want to order now? Chris, yes. Can I have a capra salad to start, please? Tom, me too, certainly. And for you, main course, uh, Chris, uh, this spaghetti bolognese, please. And Tom, I'll have cheese and ham pizza with some fry on the side. Waiter, okay. And what would you like for dessert? Uh, Chris, a uh, chocolate cake with a little ice cream, please. Not too much, please. Tom, I want chocolate with a lot of ice cream. And Chris, say, Oh my God, that's gross. That's gross. All right, so this is a listening exercise that you need to complete. Exercise one, two, and three, okay? One, two, three. Those exercises, no more, okay? Now, let's go to the grammar point. Let's go to page number 50. 50 is about um, quality, all right? So let's talk about... Uh, this, uh, let me explain to you a little bit in Spanish, perhaps it's going to be clear for you and you can understand me when I'm talking too. So number one, uh, I just want to remember you something before that. So remember these articles we have in English, these articles indicate the, uh, it is the phrase in, in, uh, in singular and it's the same meaning. So for example, you say a car. And then you say an apple, and you say an apple because this is a vowel, and that's all. And this is a consonant. But this is a singular. So the plural, let's go to the plural articles in our, in our words. Okay, so for example, we have now some, and then we have, imagine, use your imagination, any. This, some, any are similar meaning. Unos, algunos, plural, remember, poco, uh, sometimes you say poco, and uh, sometimes. Uh, unos, algunos, uh, sometimes some, uh, un poco, un poco, and some, some, some water, for example. I want some water. Yo quiero un poco de agua. I want some water, some water. But what it means here is this. Quiero que entienda. This is first of all. Estas dos palabras, first, indicates plural, indica plural, más de dos cosas. For example, say some cars, and here it's impossible this, to say any some, any cars. Well, well we, we can say any cars, why not? Any cars is possible. Se puede decir unos carros y unos carros. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que any, in other words, any is for questions. And negatives, phrases, 
O sea, la palabra any se va a utilizar, si vamos a utilizarlo con carro, sería para una pregunta. Do they have any cars? Do they have any, any cars? Porque hace la pregunta con do. Do they have any cars? Por eso utilizamos la palabra any. Any. Y some, we say some uh, when it's positive. Cuando es positiva la oración. So here, we say some when it's positive. Sometimes... Sometimes, uh, it has an special when it's uncountable. Eh, algunas veces se puede hacer preguntas, pero cuando la pregunta es incontable. Uncountable. So these are the rules. Esto es lo que, así como se aprendió a car, an apple, here, aquí tienes que aprenderse que son plural, y que uh, son cars, aquí es oración positiva que algunas veces se puede usar son para preguntas incontables. For example, uh, let me say so using some in question, do you have some? Por ejemplo, tú tienes, do you have some? Some, uh, for example, some energy. Do you have? Oh, well, an energy now, or, well, uh, that's why well, energy has, well, perhaps, do you have some energy in your homes? Could be possible. Do you have some energy in your hands? Do you have some energy on your hands? Could be possible. Any. Any expert question, definitely. En cambio, el any sí es para preguntas. Eh, a veces, uh, sometimes, ap aparece contables e incontables. Pero, okay. pero vamos a dejarla aquí como contables. Countables. Countables. A negative. I don't have any money. No tengo nada de plata. I don't have any money. <laughs> you see? I don't have any money. All right? So, that's what I want you uh, you, you understand about this. Okay? So, according to this, let's complete on page 50. Remember, remember, it's very important you write May, May 28th. 2020, Thursday, 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 okay, that's, keep in mind that, it's, 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 it's good, it's, I mean, it's, it's like an obligation that you can do it, all right, so, let's go, so, read from the track, complete the rules with the underlying words, so, are there any hamburgers, notice this, are there any, any question, this is question, so, I, any hamburgers and they are in any you see any is negative any negative and questions uh, they have no soup but they have some salads some 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 this is phrase it's it's plural and also it's affirmative okay so you need to say what it means any or we use any in affirmative sentence or some some or any. Let me help you, number one. We use some in affirmative sentence. So you write some. Okay, so you complete this according to this rule. Right? I don't know if you understood what I'm talking about. Remember, you can put pals. My God, I don't understand my teacher. Pals, and then I copy the question and it said, Teacher, can you explain for me one more time, please? And then I can help you. But you need to tell me that. You need to write the question and you tell me. Remember, this is for the next term. Okay? Not necessary to send me evidence at the moment. Not necessary. You can do it in your house and write the date because it, it is important. Okay? So, so you need to complete on page uh, 50 exercise 1, A, B, C. And exercise B, complete the dialogue with appropriate words. Uh, here, it's very necessary to write any or some. Do you have any or some ranch salad dressing? So what do you think? It's any or is any? It's some. Afghanistan. Huh? Any or some. Some is when it's uncountable questions. So it's imagination. And, uh, and any is when it's question. So do you have any ranch salad dressing? That's the, the, uh, 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 the, the, uh, the uh, quality or quantity, sorry, the quantity. 
quantity. And there is some other words that we use at the end, and here it is, and a lot, uh, it, it sometimes appears a lot of, a lot of. So here we use for positive and negative and sometimes question. So for, it, it doesn't have any, any uh, specific, uh, uh, um, uh, any uh, rule, so it's possible. And a few. So first of all, you need to understand this. Tienen que entender qué significa a lot of. Que si hacen una contracción, contraption, o contraption, sí, para speak, entonces no dicen a lot of, sino a lot of. A lot of. A lot of. Mucho, mucho, mucho. Few, poco. Few, few. And this is uncountable. All right, un poco, un poco, a few, a few, uncountable. And this uncountable it, negative we use for negative phrases also. All right, and that's all. That's all for today. So you need to complete uh, pay, uh, page 50, exercise one, two, three, and exercise three, you're gonna do, you're gonna uh, do four, Four and nothing. Oh, you need to translate this tomatoes, vegetables, cheese, meat, eggs, and water. And that's all. Nothing else. So see you. Bye-bye, teacher Jacob. I hope so you have enjoyed this. And we uh, go for the next class. Next class is about the project we're going to do. Bye-bye. The class is over. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.